Hi friends, welcome to today's class. Today's question is: A shopkeeper declares to sell cloth at the cost price, but he uses faulty meter rod. His meter rod measured 95 cm. Find his gain percentage. So, what's the question given? Here, uh, these type of questions comes under the category of faulty measurement. So, by using faulty measurements, what is the gain? Percentage obtained. So here a shopkeeper is declaring that he is selling cloth at the cost price. Okay, so he is just selling. His selling price is equal to cost price. So everyone will come or we will get at the reduced rate. So let's go and buy from that shop. But actually, what is the trick behind this? He is using 40 meter rod. So instead of 1 meter, his rod is measuring only 95 centimeter. Then what is his gain percentage? So how to do this? So, when his 1 meter rod is measuring only 95 centimeter, then what is the meaning of that? That means, uh, actually when he is selling 1 meter cloth, what he is actually doing? He is selling only 95 centimeter of cloth. Okay. Even though he is telling that he is going to sell it at sell 1 meter of cloth, he is actually selling only 95 centimeter of cloth. So, we can simply write it as, and cost price is equal to selling price it is given. The cost price of 1 meter cloth is equal to the selling price of 95 centimeter of cloth. Okay. So that is our inference from this. He is selling 95 centimeter of cloth at the cost price of 1 meter. Because he is selling, this is 1 meter. And he is using a 1 meter rod also. But the 1 meter is actually measuring only 95 centimeter. So we can infer from that the selling price of 95 centimeter of cloth is equal to Cost price of 1 meter cloth. So, from this equation, we can derive a relationship between selling price and cost price. So, selling price is equal to 1 by 95 cp. So, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So, we can write it as 100 by 95. Both should be in the same units. Since it is 95 centimeter, we can express 1 meter also as centimeter. So, 100 by 95 cost price. Selling price of 95 centimeters. So we can simply write it as 95 centimeter selling price is equal to 100 centimeter cost price. Centimeter and centimeter cancelling out. The selling price is equal to 100 by 95 cost price. That is only what we have written here. SP is equal to 100 by 95 cost price and from that what we will be getting SP is equal to 100 by 95 we will be getting it as 1.0526 cost price. So once we get this formula, we can easily find out whether it is a gain or loss. Here it is obviously a gain. So here it is greater than 1. We know this uh, when this, this number is greater than 1, it is representing a gain. And what is the gain percentage? Whatever is after this decimal point or whatever is after this 1. And we are having 4 in the 0, 5, 2, 6 after, the, after 1. And that we have to multiply with 100 in order to get the gain percentage. So, 0 0.0526 into 100, we will be getting it as 5.26 percentage. Suppose here it is 1.25 means, we will be getting 25 percentage gain. Here if it is 1.5 means, we will be getting 50 percentage gain. So, here it is 1.0526. So, it is actually 5.26 percentage gain. So, that is our final gain percentage. So, simply the, the trick behind these kind of questions is to interpret it in the correct way. Even though he is claiming that he is selling 1 meter cloth, he is actually selling only 95 centimeter cloth. So, his selling price of 95 centimeter cloth will be equal to the cost price of 1 meter cloth. Because he is uh, measuring it as 1 meter and the customer will be paying the cost price of 1 meter cloth. Because he is using selling price and cost price is same. That is what we are we have written here. Selling price is equal to cost price. The customer have to pay. Customer has to pay the cost price of one meter plot since he doesn't know the fault of the meter plot. The so cost price of one meter plot is equal to the selling price of ninety five centimeter plot. And from there we can formulate the relationship between selling price and cost price. And from there, we will be getting the gain percentage. Now, let's go to example number 2. A trader buys wheat from a farmer using faulty weight. 1 kilogram weighs 1025 gram. He sells it at the same rate at which he bought it. Find his gain percentage. So, what is the given question? A trader is buying wheat from a farmer, but he is using a faulty weight. Okay. So, his 1 kilogram is actually measuring... 1025 gram. So when he is going to the going to the farmer, he is using this faulty weight. So 
instead of 1 kg he will be receiving 1025 gram that means instead of 1000 and 1000 gram of wheat this trader will be receiving 1025 gram since he is using a faulty weight okay so instead of 1000 and gram 1000 gram he will be gaining 1025 gram from the farmer this trader will be getting but when he is selling he will be using the correct weight so he will be selling only 1000 gram so even though he got 1025 gram he will be selling only 1000 gram and that too at the same rate okay so he is selling he got 1025 gram but from that he will be selling only 1000 gram but at the same rate at which he bought it so how we can write the statement here the formulation of that statement or the formulation of the relationship between cost price and selling price is the key point here if it is done correctly means we can easily find out the answer so here actually what is happening our uh, relationship will be like this the cost price of 1025 gram that means he is getting actually 1025 gram from the farmer and that is equal to the selling price of 1000 gram but he is selling it at the same rate okay the cost price of 1025 gram is equal to the selling price of 1000 gram so what is the selling price of 1000 gram selling price of 1000 gram will be equal to the cost price of 1025 gram since he is getting 1025 gram by using the faulty weight so now here we will get the relationship between sp and cp so sp will be equal to 1025 by 1000 into cp and 1025 by 1000 what is 1025 by 1000 1.025 so our answer will be sp is equal to 1.025 cost price and from this how can we find out the gain percentage we will be just ignoring the 1 and we have to take the decimal and we have to multiply it by 100. So our gain percentage will be equal to, since it is greater than 1, we know it is a gain, 0.025 into 100. So it will be 2.5 percentage. So 2.5 percentage gain is obtaining. So this question, it is not an inspiration to do wrong things. Okay, here by using the faulty meter, a gain is obtained. But it does not mean that you have to do some wrong in order to gain wrong. It's uh, it's an evil, so you should not do any wrong, okay. So we just did these problems in order to analyze these kind of questions. Sometimes the dishonest people, they'll use faulty meter and they'll be cheating you and they'll be gaining a gain percentage. And by using this method, we can easily find out what is the gain percentage obtained. Thank you for watching.